Greetings all and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at a piece of software that is called Minitool Partition Wizard. This is a first for the channel so bear with me and let's see how it goes. I'm going to take a look at what it can do and also consider whether or not it's worth upgrading to the pro or paid versions as these offer features like drive cloning and data recovery. Full disclosure as well, I was asked by Minitool to do a review of their software. I'm not being compensated though and all opinions are my own. Minitool will also not see this video before it was released, but they have sent me a license key for the pro version of the software so I can give my opinion on it. That said, let's move on to the review. Minitool Partition Wizard is a software application that among other things can be used to partition or split up your hard drive, flash drive or SD card into separate partitions. Once partitioned, your drive or SD card will appear as two separate drives in your Windows filing system. And this can be useful if you want to separate spaces for information that is on the same physical card or drive, or in the case of handheld gamers, if you want to split up the SD card between SteamOS and Windows for your Steam Deck so you can dual boot. Also, if you have a PC that you want to run Windows on and possibly dual boot to Batasera so you can play your retro games in a more console-like environment, you can use the software as well. How to actually get an SD card set up for dual boot on your Steam Deck is a bit outside the scope of this video though, and I will leave links to videos on other YouTube channels in the description so you can check those out if you need guidance. To split your drive or USB partitions, you would simply download and launch Minitool. Select the drive you want to perform this operation on, click on the split option, choose the size of the secondary partition that you want to create, and then click apply. Minitool will then execute the operation and voila! You now have two separate drives showing under the My Computer section where there once was one. As I mentioned before, Minitool can also do more than just resize partitions. If you're running the free version, you can use it to check the disk surface to identify if you have any corrupted data blocks on your drive. It also has the ability to benchmark your drive so you can check if it is giving you the performance that it was advertised with. Last but not least, it has the ability to run an analysis of the disk and give you a breakdown of where all the space on your hard disk is going. This is an extremely useful feature if you've run out of space on your PC and you're just not sure what is using it all up. I ran a scan of my local hard drive and as I suspected most of my space is being taken up by my game installations for example. Yep, unfortunately we live in an era of 50 to 120 gig game installations which chews up the space on a 5 to 12 gig drive before you can blink. With this function you'll be able to easily identify if there are any non-essential space hoggers that can either be deleted, uninstalled or moved to a backup drive. Very useful indeed. The defining feature of the Pro version is that it comes with the ability to migrate or copy your entire system drive to another hard drive or SSD without having to reinstall Windows on the new drive. It will be an exact copy of the drive and all you will have to do is to remove the old drive from your system and plug the new one in. This will give you the benefit of more space or faster performance if it is an SSD and you will not have to go through the laborious process of reinstalling Windows and all your software. This is called cloning the drive, for obvious reasons. The higher tiers of the software also has the ability to scan and possibly recover data that was deleted. This can be extremely useful if say, oh, for example, you accidentally formatted the drive with your wedding video on, trust me. <laughs> Just be warned, this is only likely to work if the data was lost due to a simple deletion or formatting recently, and not if the loss is due to data corruption or a failed drive. So with all that said, what is my verdict on this software? I have to say, it does what it claims to do excellently. Its interface is easy to use and intuitive. So if you're a newbie and you need to resize your hard off partition for some reason, this software is the way to go. It does bug me a bit that they do not offer the OS migration feature for free, but it seems most software developers have taken this route of late, so it is not that unusual. You would probably be able to find a free migration tool if you did enough research though, so it would only be worth roughly $60 for the pro version if you prefer the ease of use or need a quick solution. The data recovery features in the higher tier version are definitely worth trying if you deleted certain files recently and haven't copied a lot of new data onto a drive. Copying new data onto a drive that was formatted essentially overwrites the data that was deleted and the more you do this the harder it becomes to recover any data. The $109 annual subscription is quite expensive for this feature, but it is less than what a recovery service provider will charge you. If you have lost data due to file corruption or a hard drive that failed, this software will likely not be able to recover the data, and you will have to take it to a professional recovery service if you want your data back. So in conclusion, a free version of the software is definitely something you would be able to find useful, 
but I would only advise paying for the higher tiers if the above scenarios fit your use case. That's it for this video though. I hope you found some value from it and that it possibly answered a question or two. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.